We're going to go through an introduction to Python, and this is actually a review from our CHE 263 website. Uh, this is apmonitor.com CHE 263. This is Introduction to Programming. Now, if you go down on the homework list on the right there, you're going to see some of the Python uh, assignments, and then we're going to get into the MathCAD ones. I want to show you how to do these MathCAD assignments with Python instead. So we're going to do this. Uh, so here are the solutions in MathCAD, and then I'll post the Python solutions right below it. Go ahead and download this file right here, the, um, the zip file. And inside that zip file, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you what's in there. Inside that are some, uh, it's an IPython notebook and a PDF version of it as well. Okay, but I already have this open, and uh, so go ahead and start with showing the Python version. Uh, we can just do import sys, and then print sys.version. Okay, and that'll show you that we're using Python uh, 3.6. Another way to do that is to import uh, platform and then print uh, plat uh, platform.python version. Okay, and that'll just give you uh, version. Okay, that'll just give you the number right there. Okay, those are the Python, the Python release number. Okay, let's go on down to this one, evaluate the following expression when x equals 4. Okay, so I'll just define x equals 4. And then I'll print uh, inside this, I'm going to print uh, x to the 0 0.5 plus 1 divided by x. Uh, just to avoid integer division issues. Uh, let's, uh, this is only for Python 2, uh, but make sure you put in uh, these as floating point numbers. And then I'm going to do to the negative uh, 2. Okay, and that'll show you the result. Another way to do this is with symbolic Python as well. Okay, import uh, sympy at, or uh, sympy as SYM. And then I'm going to say x equals SYM dot symbol. Okay, symbol, and I'm going to make that uh, x. Okay, and then I have my function, which is x to the 0 0.5. Uh, plus 1 divided by x. I'm going to do a square root there instead. SYM dot square root of x. Okay, and then everything raised to the uh, negative 2. And then if I just put, um, uh, let me go ahead and put in uh, SYM dot init uh, printing as well. And then if I do this, it's going to show me um, and let me get rid of this print statement there. Oh, no, it went. Okay, so there I can see it in SymPy. And then if I print out, um, let's see, let me go ahead and just print uh, f, and I'm going to substitute x, uh, I'm going to substitute 4 for any x values. And there you can see it's 16 divided by 81. So you can get a, a, a an exact answer as well with SymPy, or you can get the numerical answer just doing it in Python. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, complete this second one. Evaluate the following expression when r equals 10 and x equals 3.45. Okay, so r equals 10 and x equals uh, 3.45, 54. Uh, okay, let me get 54 in there. And uh, we'll go ahead and just do this as f equals, and I'll do 4 divided by 3 times, and in this case I want pi in there, and if I don't remember what pi is, I can do import numpy as np, and, um, and I'll do 4 divided by 3 times np.pi times r cubed. Um, and let's see, that's going to be to the one-third power. So we're going to put some parentheses around this um, to the one-third power. Okay, minus np.exp of x. Okay, so there I have my expression uh, as shown here. Uh, let's go ahead and evaluate this and uh, print it. Okay, so there is my result uh, right there. Okay, so uh, just a little bit on how to use NumPy uh, to evaluate some of these things like EXP. Uh, we can also use uh, import math if you want to use that instead. So import math and then 
math dot I think this one works let's check that out okay yeah that one worked as well so you can easily use math or you can use numpy both of them have exponents um, and other functions that you need uh, kind of like from a, a graphing calcula uh, from like a calculator or something like that okay so let's go on to problem three we have uh, all these constants uh, we have speed of light we have the gravitational constant and then we have pi and uh, so there's if you don't remember these constants you can just uh, access them um, let's go ahead and import uh, scipy dot constants um, as CNTS okay and then I can print for example uh, constants I'll do okay CNST uh, dot G for example there's your gravitational constant uh, there's your speed of light in meters per second and then I don't think we have pi oh we do have pi there as well okay so we had the numpy dot mp dot pi or you can use this uh, constants dot pi and so let's go ahead and just print out um, you know this uh, uh, so I'm going to do cnst dot c times cnst dot g divided by cnst dot pi okay so there is this quantity that we had right here okay so let's go on to problem number four we want to symbolically simplify this following expression in two different ways first time the output put output should not give a number but an equation that includes x the second time simplify the expression with x equals one okay so i'm going to insert this okay so we have um, we're going to use SymPy for this, okay? Well, we already had X as a symbol, okay? And, uh, but we redefined it in this, uh, in one of these problems. Uh, X is 3.54, so we just need to declare that as a symbol again. Okay, so X equals SYM dot, okay? And then this is symbol X. And let's go ahead and uh, create our expression, x divided by x plus 4 minus 12 divided by x plus 2. Okay, if you just put f there at the end, then it's going to print out this expression in SymPy. And uh, if we want to, uh, then, um, and, and you can also do sym dot uh, uh, pprint. Okay, and that's going to make it maybe just a little bit less, uh, you know, look a little bit um, less like the LaTeX uh, rendering that you saw before, uh, but still does a pretty good job of printing out the result. Okay, so I'm going to do G equals SYM dot uh, simplify. Okay, but... Uh, let's see, we, we need to substitute actually. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's see, I want to substitute in um, f dot substitute x comma 1. Okay, and then let's do g uh, there at the end. Okay, so that equals negative 19 fifths. So I substitute in uh, x equals 1, and then simplified it again and made that negative 19 fifths. Okay, so there's our next one. Let's go on to problem 5. We want to symbolically expand uh, this expression. And uh, so let's go ahead and just, we already have x as one of our symbols for SymPy. Uh, so I'm gonna do x equals, f equals x plus one to the seventh. And then let's do um, g equals uh, sym dot expand. Okay, so we can do expand, factor, uh, and simplify as well. Uh, those are all uh, commands, functions in SymPy. And so let's go ahead and do expand f, and then we have a g there, and it, it did the, uh, multiplied it out, so you can see the seventh order polynomial. Okay, let's go on to problem six. So we want to symbolically factor this, very similar, but now we're going to use the factor. Okay, and so we have f equals x to the fifth plus 10 times x to the fourth plus 35 times x to the third plus 50 times x squared 
plus 24 times x. Okay, so we want to find all the roots of this. And so I'm going to do sym.factor, and let's factor. And then let's look at g. Okay, so you can see, uh, you know, setting this equal to 0, you can see 1 root is x equals negative 4, x equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then x equals 0. Okay, so there is our factored polynomial. Okay, let's go on to this one now. This one is to solve uh, a set of two functions. So we're going to insert cell below. And uh, let's go ahead and do this two different ways. We do it with SymPy, get all the solutions with SymPy, or we can do it numerically with fsolve. So if we import um, scipy.optimize, uh, well, let's do this from we'll import fsolve okay and then uh, if we need some help on fsolve we can do this and then look at uh, this function we need a function and then an initial guess there okay it's gonna all these all the rest of them are optional arguments so let's go ahead and create our function first and uh, let's go ahead and do um, let's see I'll go ahead and create uh, my new function, define, uh, let's say this is h, and I'll make it a function of z. Now, uh, the z0 is going to be x, and then the z1 is going to be y. This is just for convenience uh, sake. And I'll say that x squared plus y squared minus 10. OK, and then g is going to be x plus y plus 3. And then I want to return um, f and g. OK, now I need to have an initial guess as well. Now if I st says start with 1, 1, as an example, let's just go ahead and test this out. I'll print h of z naught. Okay, and it gives me those residual values. So it's going to be solve these equations when these both equal zero right here. It's not at the solution. So let's go ahead and use our f solve. Um, so I'm going to say that my answer is going to be f solve. I put in my function name and my initial guess, and then I can print my answer. Okay, and there's my answer for x and y. And if I wanted to find those later, I could say that y equals answer 0, or <clears throat> x equals answer 0, and y equals answer 1. And then I could print something like x. Okay, so there I have just you know breaking it out into the individual solutions. And now the other thing I want to do is show you how to do this with uh, SymPy as well. So uh, let's go ahead and just create x and y as, uh, let's do sym.symbols. Okay, this one is lowercase. And then I want an equation 1. And I'll do sym.eq. And the syntax for this is just separate the left and right hand side of your equation by a comma. Okay, I'm just going to copy uh, this. Okay, there's my, you put this one on the right hand side if you wanted to, the 10. Okay, that's going to give you the same answer, whether you put it on the left or right hand side. And uh, let's go ahead and do this next one. I'll go ahead and copy my equation from up above. Okay, so there's my equation 1 and equation 2. And uh, then I want to do uh, sym.solve. And I'll say that my answer equals sym.solve. And I want to give it equation 1 and equation 2. So I have two variables, two unknowns. And let's go ahead and print out the answer, this next answer. OK, so now this one was different because it gave us uh, two different answers. OK, we have, there actually are two answers to this. Uh, one is a circle with uh, radius squared of 10. And the other one's a line. And, and so these are where the two intersect. OK, so if I want to just print out an individual answer, I could do answer 0. Oops, uh, answer 0. OK, that gives me the just the very first answer there, just splits it up. If I just want to get the x out of that, okay, it stores it as a dictionary. And there is my x value. 
Okay, and you could assign those, for example, x equals answer 0, x and y equals answer 0, y. And you could print x, for example. I'm going to comment this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so there is uh, one answer. Okay, and then my other x answer. Let's say that is uh, x0. Oops, I uh, hit the wrong key there. Okay, x0, and then let's go ahead and do x1. x0, and then x1. Okay, so I have my two x values. You can see that this one found, uh, with doing it with uh, fsolve, it found the x1 uh, answer. Okay, this one right here is the same as uh, was numerically solved right there. Okay, so now we're going to go on to uh, the next section. is going to be more on units. We're going to go ahead and pause the video here. Uh, you know, stop it here. In the next video, we'll, we'll talk about units and Python and how to do unit conversions uh, automatically. And we'll use the uh, Pint uh, package to do that.